Well, where do I start? It's been a, a long season, been some travelling miles, Chichester away. It all started at Hastings away. I felt that when we come to your place, one of my favourite away grounds, always has been. Great place, Hastings, good place to drink. That's the most important thing on away days. Come away with a 1-1 draw. Disappointed at the fact that we didn't win. Went unbeaten for long periods of time through until Christmas and it just sort of felt like we'd maybe run out of steam, which good teams do. I think you always hit a bad patch of form at some point in the season and that was the point of the season where I think after playing Hive, beat them 2-1, I think there was a lot of New Year's Day, I think there was a lot of felt that maybe we was running out of ideas. I think the pressure at certain times of the season to the manager, to Smithy, I think you could feel that maybe the pressure gets to him, but that's what happens. Smithy was, a you know, he's new for Smithy, a fantastic coach, manager. Losing a Ramsgate, I think it was 2-0, 3-0, I can't really remember. I remember walking out of the ground and I said, I think that was us. The season was done. I think we just had to enjoy what was left. We lost to Ashford at home, 3-0. Not really sure how Ashford have somehow finished second in the league, personally. It's, it's hard to explain, really, the emotions. And then we went on a run, six games unbeaten. Beat Chichester at home last minute, thanks to Aaron Milbank. You know, curl keeper, back four, clean sheets galore. The midfield, the front four... You know, from, from Kieran Campbell to Zach Hanza to Rory Smith to Milbank. Mike West come in at Lansing when we won 6-1. Brilliant, superb. And I think signing Mike West at the right time helped us get to where we need to be. And then the playoffs was confirmed. The home tie was the most important one, as you know, in playoffs. You want the home tie for the semi-final, finals, you know, a stab in the dark, really. Beat Hayward Teeth. Hayward Teeth, there's a, a lot of teams who've got big budgets who finished below us um, and in the playoffs. The chairman is very wise, he's a wise man. He uses his budget wisely, doesn't waste money on players where a lot of other teams did. I think that's the, 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 the factor of how well this club has now been run since they come in in 2019, that Fitchy and Smithy and, and all the coach staff work hard to ensure that the players they get in do the job. Obviously, beating Hayes, Hayward Teeth on penalties is unbelievable. Great crowd, had a bit of everything, a proper playoff game, you know, and Ashford yesterday, unbelievable. You know, rolling up on a double-decker bus, what had been sold, um, to have just over 1,000 fans and the attendance be 1,860 and to have over 1,000 Herne Bay fans, it just speaks volumes. Hey, I've seen this morning on Ashford fans all a little bit upset that they, you know, they feel we're the better team. I felt we was the better team by country mile. Um, you could sense that Ashford players didn't fancy it and um, shamefully that's the difference. If you don't fancy a player final, then... Well, are you fit enough to wear the shirt? Another fantastic season. I'm looking forward to next season. Whatever happens, win, lose, draw, we follow them. Some lovely away games to be thrown in the mix. You know, the, the crowd yesterday, the noise, you know, the pictures, the videos, everything from start to finish was a fantastic day. Um, and the spectators are a credit to the club and the, the players, the, well, the management, the players, the backroom staff, the match day officials, the, the volunteers, the people who ensure that the club are, are constantly at this level deserve a massive, massive pat on the back. They deserve the key to Herne Bay, you could say. It's been fantastic. I, I don't think this will sink in for some time. I think that's, that's the best thing about this club is we don't do stuff easy. Never has been our way. Um, you know, and, and, and I still remember it. Fitchy come in, he sat down. And in five years, he wants to be playing a competitive stand of football. First full season under the new management and chairman, obviously two years of COVID. And now look, we've got ourselves promoted. Um, you know, yeah, they might have beaten us twice in the league, but when it really mattered, we delivered it. You know, uh, it's hard. It's, it's, it's hard to put into words. You know, it's been a, a hard, big season. It's been a long season. We've clocked up the miles on a Tuesday night. We talk about going away on, a, on to Chichester. It's a two and a half hour drive from Herne Bay just to Chichester. And we, we sold out a minibus for that on a Tuesday night, rolling in at 12.30, one o'clock in the morning. But it's what you do for your team. And you know what? We're looking forward to welcoming you boys to, to Winches. And we're looking forward to coming to, to you guys. We're looking forward to some Bogner stands out the most. Nice long weekend in Bogner. Maybe a bit of Ricky look like they could be getting relegated. I mean, we're talking about a team who six, seven years ago were aiming to be League Two, League One, coming into, coming into the Ishman Premier League. Who would have thought that? So, yeah, it's 
brilliant. I love it. Everything this club does, you know, the, the bringing in the people from the town, you know, the local Facebook groups on, on Tuesday were talking about how loud we was. And yesterday was was different. We've got people who've got no voices. We've got people who've ro- who are rolling in at 7, 8 a.m. in the morning. Oh, my, my God, you know, last night was, a I would say, a messy one. But it's what we do, um, you know, as I said. It's going to be interesting next year. Um, you've got to go into every season with a bit, bit of optimism that you're going to do well, and I think we will. I think we'll hold our own. I think there's, there's teams who've been in that league for some time who, are, who I think you could sort of say have overstayed their welcome. Nice derbies, Margate, Folkestone. Looking forward to that. Like going to Folkestone, nice, easy. Margate's a beano, brilliant. I love going to Margate. Like I said, yes, they were superb. Ashford seemed to be. You know, a, a club who've got a ground which is in the middle of nowhere, an awful pitch. So really, there should only be one winner yesterday and to turn up, to roll them over, um, quite literally be roll them over. Fantastic, you know, the people stepping off the, the, the double-decker bus we ordered, we all look like we'd all come from London. People videoing it, people taking pictures, talking about it. Ashford fans gobsmacked. That's what we do. You know, Ashford go to games with a couple of people. We go to games with 30, 40 people. That's the way it is. That's the way we roll. It's the way we have been for some time. So it's time to celebrate again. It's a bank holiday weekend. You celebrate. I thank the chairman. I thank the coaching staff. We thank the players. You know, without them, we wouldn't be where we are now and we'll always be behind them home away we'll always be behind them so look forward to next season look forward to welcoming you boys like i said pop in have a pint with us and i'm sure you'll return the favor at your place brilliant you know two very very passionate chairmen are in charge of our clubs and i'll tell you what you know it's going to be going to be very very an enjoyable watch because they're two passionate guys who are going to try their absolute hardest to deliver the best for the town for the football club hope you lot have a a nice bang holiday weekend and we'll speak to you in the new year in pre-season and hopefully next season we'll uh we'll have the bragging rights hopefully six points you never know so anyway enjoy your bank holiday hope this sees uh sees well thank you